Okay, I got my fucking socks. Oh, fuck GoPro. Hmm. The worst company in the fucking world. I had a trailer customers like shit. Santa? Santa? Did you bring me a DJI Osmo? S Santa? That's me. Huh. I, I thought you'd be... What? Fat? Well... Jolly. <laughs> I've imagined this moment my whole life, and I just thought it would be different. Different like how? Well, for one thing, I thought you would be bringing me presents, not taking them. <laughs> Everybody wants a handout. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to run a maximum security compound in the North Pole? I thought it was a magical toy factory with elves. Dude, elves are just kids in funny hats. And with these goddamn new laws, we sure as hell can't hire them anymore. That machinery is designed for tiny hands, and now I've got 40-year-old men unionizing and demanding pensions. But the magic? Magic? That's just PCP. And distribution of PCP in the Arctic is not as easy as you might think it is. Now give me some fucking milk and cookies and get your bitch ass back into bed before I burn your fucking house down. Yes, sir. I'm taking this, by the way. And this. Well, labias and gentlemen, first of all, let me say, Santa has changed. He's kind of a dick. And no thanks to him, you are looking at footage from the DJI Osmo. It's much more reliable. It did not die on me once. It did not freeze. It's a fantastic little camera. There are, however, a few photos at the very end that was not filmed because I only had one battery when I made this video, and now I have more than one because I had to wait for them to come in the mail, so that won't be a problem anymore. Anyway, this is a nice mid-morning met up with Rudy Ortega and a uh, dude I've never met before, James Kaiser. I'll link them both in the description. It was a nice day, got a lot of cool photos. Make sure to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. This is Coors Field, and there's a lot of really cool pillars over here, and the light always interacts in an interesting way, but I have yet to get a good photo over here, so I think I'm gonna start taking this route into the city more often and see if I can't pull something out next time. thing that bothered me about the Osmo was the garbling of the audio that I heard but I realized later that that's actually the wind reduction and I since turned it off because it just sounds terrible. just sort of warming up here taking some shots playing with light and shadow and colors and stuff while I'm waiting to meet up with Rudy I really like shooting with Rudy because his style is so very different from mine plus he's just a much more experienced photographer so he often ends up pulling me in directions I wouldn't go otherwise Yeah, it's weird. I do like how directional it is all day though, instead of, instead of straight overhead.
junkies got to ruin everything for everybody. If I could give this lady a Christmas present, it would be the gift of height. I'm a bit of a saint, but uh, you know, it's important to stay humble. This is another area that always looks so cool and I always really want to get a shot here, but I still haven't gotten anything that really resonates with me. looking for birds to fly by and I got one but that goddamn fence was in the way. If it wasn't for that, it, I think it would have been a really cool shot. Right. Sort of playing with this bull but it's important to remember that wild animals are very dangerous. And I think the main threat is that they cause shitty photos. I'm quickly learning that this is one of my favorite lenses, especially for daytime, but I'm still kind of getting used to just how wide it is. It's really only about 16 to 35. So 35 at the long end, you still have to be pretty close to your subjects. And unfortunately, when the light was gleaming off these two ladies' hair, I wasn't close enough to really get a good photo of it. Maybe once they're done, this will be popping again, who knows? I think this photo ended up actually being one of my favorites. I don't normally shoot stuff like this, but sometimes when you can get this close, it just really adds an element to it. Plus, the fact that there was three of them and the way that they were placed in the frame, and the one in front doing something with his hands and looking back, I think it just made it a really nice to look at photo. Rudy called me over to this contrasty window shot, which is something that I really enjoy shooting, as you know. But then, of course, not long after, we got kicked out by security. couple more of my favorites. I just really love how nice and soft, but still sufficiently bright this light was. And then the nice clean wall and sidewalk really added to it as well.
Then I was drawn to the other side of the street, and I think that this had a lot of promise here. Maybe if we would have stuck around just a little bit longer, I'm not really sure. It's just a bit too messy on the right and left sides of the frame, but I love the lighting here. stopped by this ice rink which I have yet to get a chance to shoot yet this year and I'm really glad we did even though there was only a few people on the ice while we were waiting for James I think that some of these are pretty strong I love the blue I love the directional soft light and I kind of like when there's fewer people in a scene it gives me the opportunity to really hone in and try to make the composition I want without too much chaos going around found this really cool shadow and while I thought that these photos were failures at first I actually kind of like them I ended up using super resolution and cropping this one down super tight and then this one of course is just adorable <laughs> This is about where my battery died. I think it's pretty much just an action cam thing that their batteries just don't last all that long, but that's all right. They're very small and waterproof, so you can't really complain too much. Most of the photos I got before the battery died anyway, so I was happy. We really only stopped at one more spot, this nice little archway with some really cool light and shadow being cast on it. And we just sort of sat there and waited for some people to come through. That was pretty much the last comp of the day anyway, so I wasn't too upset that my battery was dead. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. It helped me out a lot. And make sure that you have a happy end of the year days. I don't want to make anybody cry by saying happy holidays or Merry Christmas. And honestly, if that bothers you that people say that sometimes, you should probably get some real hobbies. I left links to James and Rudy's Instagrams down below, as well as Rudy's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check them out. They're both really good photographers here in Denver. I'll see you guys in the next one.